Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of The Adventure Bus. So I bought a vanity this morning. I really didn't need it quite yet, but today was the last day of the sale and it was 50 bucks off. So I uh, got the vanity, it's in the car, gotta get that out, bring it inside the bus. And I haven't even looked yet, but, oh, perfect. This is our uh, Flex Seal shower ceiling. And it's turning out exactly how I want it to. It is now waterproof versus this. Okay, so we've got an actual rubber seal on the ceiling now. And today I'm going to get started on the walls. So I've got this stuff here, which is called Dense Shield. So just so you know, uh, cement board's not waterproof. You're actually supposed to coat it with like a red seal. Uh, this Dent Shield board is waterproof, so it's a lot better product to use if you can find it right now because of the supply chain issues. Um, I bought this a few weeks ago and I knew I didn't need it right away, but I just, uh, I saw it and I'm like, well, there's some in stock, I better grab it. So I think I have enough here to finish up. I did finish the wood part, so this is the part that's going to remain wood. So it's all finished now and the switches are in. So we have a switch for the ceiling light right there. We have a switch for the vanity light, which is gonna be up there. And then we have a switch for the fan. So if someone's taking a shower and it's hot, it'll suck all the hot air right out of there. Okay, so. Everything's wired up. Uh, I think the vanity is going to fit absolutely perfectly. So that's where it's going to go, right there. And uh, back here, not much going on except to see how much I'm getting in these water tanks. I'm almost half full. I keep bringing water from uh, kind of in a jug from home here. So, all right. Oh, I got to glue these guys down. That's on the list, so that they don't go flying. And I need a little short cord to go from there to there. But I think what I'm gonna do, because I wanna keep this uh, first alert kind of back here, is probably put a power bar up there and then put the first alert and the air conditioner into the power bar. So I think that's the solution there. All right, so let's get the vanity inside figure out what head we need for these and uh, get putting some board on the wall in here. Uh -oh. oh, I like the sound of that. I might open this up. Okay, so this is our vanity. Nice little slim one. It's funny, I was actually looking at the style for the wall, but I thought it would be too much. Um, made in Canada. How about that? So let's unpack this guy and make sure nothing's broken. Look at that, it kind of matches the floor. I didn't really plan that, but it definitely, uh, definitely matches the floor. Alright. 
Okay, so that's kind of over there. I'll show you guys, it fits absolutely perfectly because obviously I don't want this door to be smashing into it like all the time. So I'm gonna put a stopper on the floor, but that fits absolutely perfectly and it still allows the bathroom to work. So this vanity will reside right here. So I just wanted to check the depth, but it'll uh, basically be centered right in that spot with the mirror. So that is gonna be perfect. It works good. Okay, now, let's see what kind of bits. Oh, they gave me one. I didn't even know they do that. All right, so the bits in there. These are the screws that you should be using. They're for Dura Rock Wonderboard. Got the right screws. Okay. I'm gonna start putting some wallboard on, but I gotta do some measurements. <laughs> 